The U.S. Olympic women's hockey team winning the gold medal in the Winter Games meant a lot of excitement for the friends and family of two players from Plymouth. CCX Sports' Jay Wilcox recently talked with Kelly Panic and Danny Cameronisi. Here's part two of our interview. Danny, you had a great tournament. Kelly, you assist on the goal that sends it to overtime. Talk about your own personal experiences as, as players you know, within the tournament. Were you happy with the way things went for yourselves, too? Yeah. I was ecstatic with <laughs> Kelly's pass up to Monique. Yeah, she had a great tournament, and I think um, as a team, we all had a great tournament, and that um, kind of shows how we ended up at our ultimate goal and winning the gold medal. If everyone weren't playing at their um, top level, then that likely wouldn't have been the outcome that we got. So um, it was a really great experience, something we've been looking forward to our whole lives and um, for it to actually flourish and come to life and our dreams finally came true. It, it doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she almost got a hat trick against Nora, who I mean is arguably one of the best goalies in the world and she hates getting scored on by gophers. So that was, that was really fun to watch. I wish she would have gotten the third, but. Like she said, I think our whole team, I mean, just did so well and was so balanced. We had scoring from Gigi, who was the oldest player on the team and had a great tournament. So, um, yeah, it was just fun to see everyone succeed and be put in, you know, the right positions. And it was really, honestly, just so fun to be a part of that team. Hockey is obviously a big focus of the Olympics, but also a lot of great performances by other U.S. athletes. Did you get a chance to experience that much? Um, a few, yeah, a little bit. We, I mean, our tournament goes the whole time, so it's kind of on an off day here or there. But my personal favorite was the we went to the gold medal curling match for the men, and that was so fun because we had seen those guys, and they're so chill um, just around the village, and they were really big fans of our team and were really friendly, so it was really fun to be able to cheer them on. And I mean, being in that arena for that sports moment was so cool. <laughs> Yeah, I, a number of us got to go to different ones. Um, like she said, we all went to the gold medal curling match and that was so awesome. Went to figure skating and speed skating and just honestly having the Olympics on the television the entire time was so cool. Seeing um, such high level athletes compete in their sports and we're sitting there. These people are doing death defying yeah. things. Like it, it is incredible. We don't really know what's going on in some of the sports, but um, the things that people do are so so cool. Has fame been hard to adjust to a little bit? <laughs> fame might be a little much. Huh? No, we, uh, I was actually out with Hannah and Lee for St. Patrick's Day and people were like coming up to us and we're like you guys were Olympians right? I'm like how do you guys actually know who we are? It, that part's been a yeah. little weird for me and I even went to shopping with my mom and someone came up to a, us in I think it was Athleta and we're like there's a gold medalist in this store. I'm like, how do you people know yeah. who I am? So that part's been weird, but really cool. What's coming next hockey-wise? I think uh, Kelly's answer might be a little easier to more straightforward, but what, what's coming up for you? Yeah, uh, I go back to the Gophers. I have one more year um, of school, one more year playing with them, so I'm really excited um, just to see what the season looks like, how it turns out, and get back with that team. Danny, you're done with the Gophers, but what's next for you? <laughs> Unfortunately, done with the Gophers. I wish, I wish I had an opportunity to go back there, but um, I think for a lot of us, we're taking a little time off vacationing because we've been working really hard for the past four years and our entire lives but yeah so taking a little break and then I'll probably get back to training and um, I'll be really fortunate if I had a chance to be on the team again. And thanks to Danny and Kelly for spending some time with us here. You can see all of their 11 minutes sit down interview with Jay Wilcox on our YouTube channel at ccxmedia.org.